I think I hear some familiar voices. Let's go check and see who it is. Mr. Cam. Oh my gosh, Moo came running. Hi. Didn't she? Hey. <laughs> oh. oh my god, I missed you. Hey, Punky. Hi. You just had to do it, didn't you? Moo, Moo. <laughs> oh, Moo came running, man. Did That's she? so fun. Hi, hey. little sister. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Good to, yeah. Good to see you. How was y'all's trip? Oh, Driving that uh, big beast there. You know, I'm, I'm telling you, I stressed, but it all worked out well. I mean, no <laughs> issues, no problems. Hey, it's beautiful, though. I didn't put a dent in it. Um, that looks really good, actually. It yeah. looks really nice at the truck. I'm really happy, really happy. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Still got to figure out where to put stuff at and everything like that, but you know, it That works. sucker is huge. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hey, you hooked to your your truck too. You're, you're oh about yeah, the same I know. That's true. That's true. Did you disconnect your truck before coming out here? No, no, you no. You towed it all the way. Yeah, I towed it all the way and disconnected it in this in the spot you're in right there. Oh. Actually, I got nervous yeah. coming up that hill. I'm glad they graded the road because I was just like, oh, I, I get to see myself going up. It's still it, kind of rough. Is, it, well, it's but, like fourteen thousand pounds. I'm like, uh, and sit there and be like. Aja, bring your truck and come and help me get up the hill, but <laughs> I put it in four well, we by and locked have. it in. And it was no problem? Not a problem at all. Oh, no. cool. Nice. As long as you can stay on the road. Yeah, There's yeah. There's a few spots there really have. Oh, and, and, and it's a good thing, you know, where you come up the one hill that you just keep going forward because you can't see anything. Can't and it's like, road. holy <laughs> moly, you know. I knew with the truck and camper, I was only 25 feet. Different than 53 feet. So. Well, we're going to get caught up and then I'll get back with y'all. I think Dory's using her levelers. I think that one is broke. Oh, it dug into the sand right here. Wow. Oh, wait a minute. She's supposed to have something underneath. You don't, oh. you, yeah, let me tell her. No, these, no, that's not what's going on. I think you're supposed to, cause, cause your base is like this big. So I think you're supposed to have a wooden block or something underneath. Well, well, that's Cause what, it's, that's it, what we were doing. It just sank into the um, sand. No, they never came down. They never came down. Oh, okay. That's the trouble with these tilt kind. Oh, um, Oopsie. They, they, cut, they only come down so far. And look how it slid and, back and, and then she tried extending them while they were at an angle. Oh. So retract them the whole way, uh, Dory. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, there you go. Oh, wait. There it goes. Okay, let me put some boards under there. Yeah, you need boards for stability, especially in sandy situations. Well, I mean, it would help. Yeah. That's what happened. They came down with the dirt. They didn't go fully vaulted. So, they could go down. Uh, one of us is looking to make sure they all actually made it to the vertical. You got it worked out there? You got it worked out? <laughs> okay, so you know you had a birthday in September. I did. And I was supposed to mail you something for your birthday, and I, you know, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I remember so, you calling me and saying, oh, I'm mailing, what's the address? I'm mailing you something for your birthday. I know. And, <laughs> and so, I, I got I, this little wolf figurine, <laughs> and I thought it was from you. No, I did not I send you a wolf figurine. I don't know who sent me figurine. that then. Okay, and then I didn't put it in a, I didn't, gift wrap it because I was going to mail it, right? Yeah, this water's getting on my nerves. I'm just going to move Okay. <laughs> so here, first off, I got you some lube. Okay? Because you're 50 now. You need some of that. That's some lube. lube. for yeah. my joints? Yeah. Or well, you know. <laughs> or whatever, whatever you I... want to use it for. Oh, okay. oh okay. thank <laughs> All right. you. <laughs> now, this here is called a whip. I bought you a whip, too. 
<laughs> what is I it? got you some I got you some lube and a whip. <laughs> Thank you for the adult toys. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is really cool. So this is a space whip. Oh, cool. <gasps> Do not leave this at the party. They are very expensive, Aja. Oh, okay? I know. I think I know what you're talking about. I'm going to let you do the rest. No, so Laura has one of these. Well, now you have one. Oh, nice. Thank you. And there's the, there's the handle part. It's uh -huh. very heavy. Don't hit anybody with your whip. Are you sure that's a handle that looks whip. like something else? No, that's the, that's the whip handle. <laughs> okay, cool. And I bought you batteries. <laughs> <laughs> I bought you batteries for your whip. <laughs> oh, thank you. I hate oh that God. when people give you presents and they don't okay. include the batteries. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone should have a whip and some lube when they turn 50. <laughs> and batteries. And batteries. Thanks, Terry. <laughs> I wouldn't give you a whip and some uh, lube without Ooh, batteries. I'm going to enjoy this little toy and the lube. <laughs> Thank All right. you. That's it. Love you. Love you, too. First, I was like, is that Aja? And we were like, Scott. I said, Scott, is that Aja doing that whip on Amazon? And we were like, looking. She looks just like you. Oh, I'll that's weird. I'll have to show you. I have a... a Gop doppelganger, doppelganger. So I bought Aja so, Jimmy some lube, <laughs> a whip, and some batteries joints. for her 50th for her So if you don't know, <laughs> it's a fiber optic whip <laughs> and it actually lights up. Whatever That's really cool. Call. Thank you. <laughs> Yay! And she'll be whipping it. Whipping whip it, girl. Whip it. Whip it. Whip it good. Whip Here it goes. Good. And good. Ooh, it's glowy. Glow, glow, good. glow, glow. I love it. <laughs> So the lube is for the whip. You actually spray the lube on the whip so it doesn't break the fiber optics. Yes, I'm really they are, not that kinky. Because they are, <laughs> sure. So they are um, very is. fragile, so you gotta be careful <laughs> with it. It's awesome, isn't it? Look, I have a unicorn ponytail. <laughs> woo, woo. What the hell is right. I turned around? Oh, the pumpkin. Oh, okay. And, and then I was glad I did because oh, I already knew my... where I wanted to go to the fries and it was pretty quick it was it was easy Okay, this is what is for dinner tonight. I'm going to do a homemade sloppy joes with organic grass-fed ground beef. And we've got the chopped up sweet peppers. I've got onions here. These are my spices, which is onion powder, parsley, thyme, all is organic. There's a uh, chili powder, I'll add a little bit of that. And paprika, some garlic, and also ground mustard. I have the organic diced tomatoes and also the tomato sauce. And I have some organic stevia to make it a little sweet. I'm gonna add in a little pink sea salt and olive oil. The ground meat is in sauteing with the peppers and adding the onions. And all the spices. Open that. Thyme. Parsley. Onion powder. Mustard. Garlic salt. Paprika, a couple dashes of chili powder. Ready to smell good. I'm gonna let that cook a little while. I made salads to go with the sloppy joes. It's a walnut apple salad with tomatoes and grapes and croutons and egg. There's a bunch of stuff in there. Looks really good. Can't wait to dig into that. Okay, everything's been cooked down, so I'm going to add in the stevia for sweetness. I'm trying to stay with, away from a lot of sugar, so that's why I've been using the organic stevia instead. It's been working really well. Nice tomatoes. And tomato sauce. I'm going to let this cook down. I'm going to stir this and let it cook down. It's going to have to cook for a little while to reduce some of the juice and make it thicker. Okay, Google, set timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, and we're starting now. Awesome.
Alright, it's sticking up nicely. Ooh. Steam on the lens. Can you see? Alright, I'm going to turn that down, let it cool down for about 5 to 10 minutes. And then it should be ready to serve. Is it dinner time, Moo Moo? Dinner time? Gonna watch a movie called Encounter. It just came out and watching it Wi Fi direct off of my tablet that's connected to my TV. Well, you finished already? Okay, I'll give you a snack in a minute after I'm done. Dinner is ready. Mmm, looks good. Can't wait to dig in. Mmm. Look at Mr. Quail behind you. How He's right you? there, right at the fire um, pit. If I turn around, he's gonna move. Uh, he's starting to head that way already. He's like, ah, I've been spotted. Mm -hmm. Less pots to move around. Carrie brought over some aloe. Awesome, thank you. Some medicine. Yes. And I hope the bucket ain't too big. Oh no, that's perfect, thank Never you. Never been used. Yeah, that's just like my other one that I accidentally left at home. I have a square one now, a little square one. Nice. You know how I like square. Well, thank you, I appreciate it. Soil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got a, um, I've got nasturtiums I'm gonna um, grow <gasps> and other stuff too. I gotta fill Where's in. Where's your nasturtiums at? I haven't, um, I haven't planted them yet. I'm gonna plant them. <laughs> they're they're from seed, so it's gonna take a little while to germinate. They grew like wild in Hawaii. Such a lovely rainy day today. Not much going on at camp, but other people have made it. Rady's here now. Yep, not much going on. We're gonna go into town. Town! So only rain for an hour and then it's supposed to be sunny again? Yes. Nice. I like a little bit of rain. Mm. Oh. At least it's all sinking in, it seems. True. Goodness. Nothing like puddling. We've come into Yuma, which is about 25 miles away from our camp spot at Senator Wash. And we're going to eat some fish and chips today. Ooh, fish and chips. You can do it outside. Uh-huh, uh-huh, and, um, yeah, that was, that was pretty fabulous, I gotta say. That's where, uh, Holly got her, uh, fish tacos. It doesn't say anywhere on my receipt. And it fits. I've never seen anybody put a plastic lid on a plastic cup. <laughs> well, now you have. I know. I just get the old cheesy star foam cup. What's up with that? Oh, because ours was to go. We told them to go because we weren't sure. Wow, look at all the food. So we got french fries, obviously, with our dinners, and then fish, uh, coconut shrimp, some onion rings, more of the same. Oh, yeah, coleslaw, too. Coleslaw. I don't know what that's for, I was just hungry, eating away. So they have this pina colada sauce for the coconut shrimp that is so yummy. Oh, everything's so deep fried and good. Yummy. <laughs> they even have organic ketchup. I usually don't eat the ketchup in uh, most places because it's hectic because corn syrup, but I was pleased, very pleased. So I went to the joint here in Yuma and they reset me. I feel a lot better. They said that I should come in regularly just to get reset. As you get older, your spine kind of compresses and he could sit, tell that uh, my issues were in my lower back and because it's been compressed. They say the first time you're supposed to get reset is actually when you're 21. So I'm like <laughs> way behind on that. So I'm gonna try to come in every other week or either once a month and he says if I keep regular they'll get my spine back in shape and, and it'll have a curve and he says right now it's straight so that's where all the compression's happening and that's why I'm having issues. We're here at Goodwill and I've got a few more items selected for the boho decorations. 
I used to have a dehydrator, but I was thinking about getting one of those um, freeze dryers, and this is what this is. That's pretty cool. Nice. But look. Oh my god. Almost 2600 or the other one is uh, almost 3300 Mama, outside. Good girl. Oh, you came on the, on the side? Good girl. You're free, not really. <laughs> we come here to the Imperial Dam, which is right there. You can't go though. It's blocked off. Look at the reservoir. The lake is beautiful here. So much tall water grass. Wow, that's awesome. Looking. It is quite windy today. Right here by the dam, there's a grassy area, nice trees, picnic tables, and also grills for picking out. I think when we first entered here, it said you can camp here for up to three days. I don't know if you need to get a permit or how it works. It's a lovely area to come hang out. There's nice grass. It's definitely beautiful here. Oh, that wind is chilly. I mean, the sun feels nice, but <coughs> when you're in the shade and the wind's blowing, it's really chilly. All right. Well, at least we know this is here for a future reference if we ever want to camp and we need some grass. Is that showers? It's an awesome spot. I'm not sure. Huh. We're going to step. I want to step. We're going to oh. stop back by. Oh, there's, wait. There's, there's pit nope. toilets. There's a sign up here. Oh yeah, and we're gonna stop by this sign and check and see what it says about the camping. Okay, that did not have anything about the camping, but there is something here. So it says a three day camping limit. Hold on, I'll show you the sign. No open fires or vehicles allowed in park, but there's a three day camping limit. Park irrigation on Tuesdays. So I guess you can't pull in. Why would you wanna pull into the grass here? But I don't know where you actually park. It's not it's not very specific. Yeah, I guess you just park there on the pavement, but hmm. It's definitely very lush here because of all the water. Huge palm trees. Is there something else? Oh, this is the office. Hmm. Maybe they know inside. So the sign on the door says employees only, so we're not going to go in and ask. Oh well. Well, the sign does say three day camping, so, but it's just not specific on where to park and... Imperial Irrigation District. We need to look that up. And this is the same water that they use for Senator's Wash too, I believe. Oh, that sun's so bright. So bright. Do you see something else? Isn't this it? Oh yeah. So there's BLM all around, so trying to spot and see if there's other camping areas. Uh, <laughs> there's a donkey. Oh, there's donk. No, multiple donkeys. Looky, donkeys. <laughs> oh, there's, oh wait, there's like four. Wow. They're eating on the debris that's been piled up. <laughs> Pretty cool. Can you hold that out the window for them? <laughs> donkey! What sound did they make? Yeah. He's just staring at us. He's like, move along, nothing to see here. Hi, donkey. And he's staring at us. Moo moo. But you staring at the donkeys? <laughs> She's like, what is that? You've seen a donkey before. Wow. That would be nice, just look. back in here. Yeah. Oh, it, it dead ends. Dead ends, yeah. Dead end. Dead end. 
Did it, did it? Oh, Perfect. that's cool. Wow. A little swimming hole. <laughs> that's neat. Get your own private swimming hole here. It's very narrow, though. The drive is. Well, not super narrow. I'd pull in there and back the bus right up there. Huh. Yeah. This is still part of the wildlife. Is it? This part here is kind of creepy. It's kind of narrow right there. Yeah. Don't want to slide into the water. It's not, it doesn't look very deep though. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, look, it looks like it's washing right okay, there. Oh. Hi, donkey! <laughs> it looks just like a family. There's a baby one over there, too. Oh, another area. Let's go uphill. Oh, this is where we came? This is not that's where we, where we came in. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, we came from over there. Oh, just another way in, okay. All right. It's always good to scout out different camping areas. And this is not too far from the LTVA. Oh, off-road, yeah, trails. It goes up into the mountain. Now, I know some of you don't know what LTVA is. That means long-term visitor area. And you can pay $180 and stay for the whole season. And uh, Senator Wash, the North Shore is different. It has its own pass. It's $75, and that's for the year. It lasts one whole year. But there, like I said, it's different. It's 14 days on and then 14 days off. So you have to, you can only stay 14 days and you have to leave then go wherever, come back. I think it's 20, is it 25 miles? Is it the same thing or just, it just leave? Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, so if you have both, then you can probably just go up into the LTVA area up top and not down by the water, but it does have its own separate pass. Towards Ferguson Way Lake. Is this it here you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, be it. Well, that, that goes to the um, LTVA though, right? Right, but they're saying then you just go to the left because there's no one there to say, do you have a pass? Because you're supposed to pay oh, the day use even right. if you don't And pay. that's BLM, which is Bureau of Land Management, which is usually 14 days, and then you have to move. <laughs> Are you sure that's the one we were seeing? It's the only one. <laughs> there's one down there, but that's a, no, that's a pole. Yeah, see, that's why we, because... Because that's what we have to see, is by the boat ramp. There oh, we yeah. Are. It is a palm tree. Huh. We were always confused, and we were uh, all guessing what that was, if it was a palm tree, or if it was a some kind of structure, or antenna. This is day use only. This is the South Shore Recreational Area of Senator Wash. I think they have a host here that keeps an eye over things, make sure no one's camping here. That's where you can come put your boat at. There was a boat on the lake or the reservoir the other day. It was loud. <laughs> Some kind of speedboat. Warning to boaters. You are cautioned that boating will be at your own risk. So, let's see, we are actually over there. Oh, yeah, you can see us right there. That's the um, North Shore over there. Cool. Looks like a landing pad for a helicopter. Oh, it's or is a it? Oh, it's handicap. <laughs> That's totally not a landing pad. <laughs> the orange flag, I thought it was for the oh. <laughs> Yeah, oh, they got a lot of plants like I do. Yeah. Look at y'all. Yeah, they're going nice. Yeah, they do have nice picnic areas down there. Yeah, when it's not windy. 
nice little path to get down there. And if actually you turn left and follow this over the bridge, there are showers down there. I think they cost like two dollars. Mm -hmm. But then there, there's a whole recreation area down there as well. Yeah, you can. Oh, you can camp down there? Yeah. Oh, but it's paid, it's, right? It's part of the... Uh, Our pass is in down there. Oh, are they? But it's like a park. Oh. It's, it's like an RV park. Oh, okay. Yeah, that doesn't sound so pleasant to be on blacktop and in a parking lot. Boats. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Cause you can, can you um, uh, launch your boat there? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, yeah, go see other ways. It doesn't really Oh, cool. A lot of people parked up here too. It's another part of the LTBA. This is where we turn up here. This is South Mesa. Then you'll come up here and then take a left. And that'll bring you down and you gotta go all through. Oh, sorry, yeah, right, my dyslexic self. Anyways, it, it'll take you all through there. Then you'll come out on the North Shore. But you gotta go through those mountains. <laughs> well, y'all have seen it. And there is the dump right when you first come in, and water and trash somewhere around here. It's hard to see with the sun in my face. Oh, yeah. Here's our turn. I think we actually passed the dump already. Is that Jason and Jim? Oh, did they park down here? Oh, yeah, and that's Ellie. I don't think they know how to get there. Maybe we should go talk to them and see if they know how to get there. Maybe they have been there and it's just not enough room. Because they are in big rigs. Oh, that could be the case. So, this is a nice spot too. This is when you first get into the lower area that you can camp. Yeah, I think they're trying to level out right now. So, they, I wonder if they just got back here. We can go check and see. I don't know why we don't camp over here anyways. It's a bigger shore line. And you could we could spread out and this stuff. Plus crowded. this, I think, yeah, this does get more crowded than over on our side. Well, they got their e-bikes out and their, their car unhooked. Here's Ellie. I think that ridge actually blocks the wind because it doesn't feel as windy since we pulled in here. I think he's trying to get leveled out. Oh, there they are. Hey. Hello. Look, it looks like dinosaur poop. That does really look like dinosaur poop, doesn't it? You see it? <laughs> what is it? It's a, it's a log or something. It just looks weird. Okay, enough of that. It's a shriveled up, uh... So all out here is BLM? Okay. Oh, I see a fire pit right there. Yeah, you can get in right here. Oh, okay. Get up it. Get up it. We're taking a different route. Is he out there? He's gone. There's nobody out there, actually. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look at that spot right there. That's awesome spot. It even has a grill. Wow. Uh oh. Someone should go snag that spot. The trees. Oh, is there? Where? I don't see. He was on the right. Oh, over here? Oh, wait, over there? Yeah, but not out on that point, right? No. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy's gonna find a spot. Bruce, like, I'm taking it. I'm getting it. Yeah, I'm it's empty. That for like three well, days. I mean, there's plenty of space for more than one person. Like, you and as Jimmy. Long as I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> So you can see all the rigs over there. That is where um, the, we were just at the other side, right before we came into South Mesa. Oh yeah, there's someone down here. Yeah, there's like three spots down here. Oh, okay. It's a beautiful area. The water still looks a little low. Is it? Yeah. yeah, it's not up as high as it is. It's only like yeah. three or four feet low now. Because some of that is underwater when the water comes yeah, the in. Yeah, spots right here you can't use. Yeah. Those, 
Off-roading, we're going off-roading. Thorns, thorns. Alright, we made it back. Oh, oh there's Jimmy. Jimmy.